ex-Tesla engineer says solid-state batteries are a false hope. GM is dead serious about electric cars, offering to buy out Buick dealerships that won't invest in electric vehicles. Remember the company's electric Cadillac Lyric sold out in 10 minutes and the CEO said that GM could catch up to Tesla in electric vehicle sales by 2025. Plus, I'm going to tell you in this report what Tesla just announced something really spectacular about how it affected the Chinese environment. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Harayan from Tokens.com. Please like this video and give us thumbs up if you are here first time. Please subscribe to our channel. By liking this video, you will help us tremendously. Anyway, so ex-Tesla engineer says solid-state batteries are a false hope. Now at the helm of Scylla Nanotechnologies, he believes lithium-ion cells will reach $50 kilowatt hour in 10 years. That's half of the current parity with gas cars. The whole world is currently bedding solid state batteries will be a revolution in energy storage some bet even their own money on that such as volkswagen and bill gates uh, with quantum scape are doing with quantum scape like i said but there is a man uh, but actually there is a man that begs to disagree gene berdyshevsky if you are not familiar with the name he was the engineer in charge of roadster battery pack after leaving Tesla, Berdyshevsky started Scylla Nanotechnologies and said SSBs are a false hope. SSB stands for solid state batteries. Toyota has 1000 patents on them. We know that because of white paper he released with the other co-founder of Scylla Nanotechnologies, Gleb Yushin. In that document, both men also predict that the future lies in lithium ion batteries. They believe it will reach a price of $50 per kilowatt hour in the next 5 to 10 years. I will have the link of that white paper in the description of this video. Now, that would happen with the help of two new kinds of cathodes based either on metal fluoride of sulfur or sulfur. The white paper says that pairing them with silicon anode may lead to $50 kilowatt hours price by 2030 and $30 kilowatt hour by 2040. That will bring down the cost of electric vehicles. According to the paper, solid state batteries face several technical difficulties that would be very challenging to overcome. Apart from dendrite formation, their solid electrolytes would be prone to micro cracking. For example, there is also an issue with the investment uh, investments currently being made. Uh, I wonder how Toyota is trying to solve this and Quantstop Uh Also, battery factories currently being built aim to manufacture regular lithium ion batteries. Solid state cells would probably require different machinery and building technology, uh, building, building techniques that would demand more investments should they prove to work. Hopefully they work because a lot of people are betting on them, including Toyota. In other words, as disruptive as lithium ion cells were to legacy car makers and their investments in the internal combustion engines, solid state batteries would also represent a massive disruption on the investments currently made on regular lithium ion batteries. But both authors say they would be glad to be wrong about these predictions for the sake of the electric car revolution. But are they? What do you think? Let me know, friends, your thoughts on this. The discussion they raise is very relevant, especially if no company presents a feasible solid state battery as soon as possible. The whole white paper deserves your attention. I would like to ask you to take a look at that and comment in the comment section below. Make sure you read it in the link I will have in the description below. It also provides interesting points about the role of batteries in intermittent renewable energy sources and how the million mile battery could help with that. By the way, have you heard anything about Tesla's million mile battery? I would like to have any idea if there is anything new. In the meantime, we're learning that General Motors is dead serious about its electric vehicle ambitions. It is willing to go as far as buying U.S. Buick dealers to achieve its goals. Per a report by CNBC, GM has offered to buy out dealers that perform not to invest, that prefer not to invest in Buick's transition to electric vehicles exclusively by the end of the decade. The brand has about 2,000 franchises in the United States. Each of them will get the opportunity to be bought out. As stated by the global head of Buick, Duncan Alfred, quote, 
not everyone necessarily wants to make that journey, the journey to the electric vehicles. He says, depending on where they are located or the level of expenditure, expenditure that the transition will demand. So if they want to exit the Buick franchise, then uh, we will give them uh, monetary assistance to do so, he said. Now, the financial details of the arrangement have not been disclosed. GM made the same offer to Cadillac dealers two years ago, less than half accepted the offer instead of investing $200,000 in upgrading to sell electric vehicles. Reports show the buyout ranged from $300,000 to $1 million, giving Buick dealers an idea of what to expect. I wonder what investment is there needed to sell electric cars, maybe a couple of chargers, how expensive they can be. I don't know, you know guys. The Buick brand will benefit from GM's massive $30 billion investment in electric vehicles by 2025. The company expects to produce 30 new electric vehicles across all its brands and go completely electric by 2035. And as I reported earlier today, Tesla vehicles in China in the first half of 2022 alone reduced carbon emissions by more than 650,000 tons, equivalent to planting more than uh, 3.2 million acres of forest. That's a lot of trees. Tesla, again, for third year in a row, became a participant in the China International Fair for Trade in Services, where it shared its experience in improving efficiency and protecting the environment. Tesla cars are very popular in China, which brings huge benefits to the environment. At the event, in an interview with the China Daily website, Li Haolin, sales manager of Tesla Beijing, shared some data, and that data is very interesting. Here's, where, here's what he said. According to Haolin, Tesla car owners in China in the first half of 2022 alone traveled more than 2.8 billion kilometers. That's 1.74 billion miles. That's a lot of miles uh, through Tesla's charging network. To fully appreciate this distance, consider going around the globe 70,000 times. That's 70,000 revolutions around the Earth. However, if we consider the environmental benefit, this figure becomes even more impressive. These trips, totaling 1.74 billion miles, have reduced carbon dioxide emissions by more than 650,000 tons, the equivalent of planting more than 1.3 million hectares of forests. I want that's 3.2 million acres. I wonder how many trees a 3.2 million acres would be. If you guys have any idea, let me know. But I think this is great achievement. The more electric cars, the more Teslas we have on our roads, the cleaner the air, except they need to improve that when making batteries as well. Well, let me know your thoughts on these three news pieces that I reported. And what do you think about this new format? Is, is this more clear and more interesting? I know there are not moving graphics and people want to see graphics, but what do you think? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please uh, like this video if you found the information interesting. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. You will help to put it in front of more people and help to speed up the electric transition, electric vehicle transition and adoption. Have a great day. I look forward to reading your comments, your opinions in the comment section below. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And I'll see you soon in our next report later.